This is highlights from a single round of King of the Hill Infantry only. I'm playing on Code 4 Gaming's EU number 5 server. I've joined Blue 4, and this is right at the start of the round, and I'm just getting into the area of operations. Bit of a slow land in there, but luckily our team has got the central tower, so there was no uh, risk of being RPG from the central tower there. Okay, now I'm on the ground, I'm going to attempt to move towards the priority area. Looks like Blue 4 have taken a bit of an early lead, we've got a lot of people in the AO pretty early on. Let's see if I can move towards those other friendlies that are in the priority area there. But as I was moving across, just heard this enemy heli. Now, only two kills, unfortunately. Early in the round like this, it's a good time to shoot helicopters that are ferrying people into the uh, AO. And sometimes you can hit helis with a lot of people on board, although that one unfortunately only had the two people on board. And it's not too much longer before I'd notice another heli. And we're back into the uh, priority area, and there's quite a lot of our team in the priority area right now, helping Blue Four to take a massive early lead. Although I've just noticed a guy upstairs in this building here. Looks like he didn't see me. Let's try and throw a grenade up there. I'm not sure if that grenade went through the door or not. Appears to have gone off outside, so I guess not. Luckily, though, the guy had no idea I was coming. There was another one too. Looked like he was looking down the stairs there. That was lucky. ASP could erect me if he'd got me with that. Right, looting the body there. Upgrading the uh, armour and getting some rockets for my moors. You can see I'm wearing the body armour, I just took off the dead body there. This body armour offers better protection than the over-the-shoulder bag thing that I had on. Uh, that, in fact, offers no protection at all whatsoever, the standard uh, crewman upper body gear. I tend to choose the crewman because it's quite lightweight and still offers head protection. Most of the lighter loadouts don't offer head protection, but you, in my opinion, it's probably better to go for head protection because you can die faster from a headshot than a body shot. Although, of course, a body shot's easier than a headshot, so, you know, probably depends a lot more on the way you play, I suppose. A bunch of uh, enemies parachuting by Tower 3. Managed to get the first one. I didn't manage to get any others, but one of them fell off the top of the tower there, unfortunately for him. Well, here's another enemy heli. As I'm uh, quite near to the priority area, there seems to be a few enemy helis trying to fly people right into it right now. Quite an unfortunate for him to land there while I was looking right at him with the Immortals. And here comes another heli. Luckily I've still got a rocket left too. Beauty. But anyway, still inside the priority area and you see Blue 4 is absolutely storming it now. It's not actually looking too good for the other teams. Look like uh, Stack 4 and Blue team for once. And that was an unfortunate shot. I'm actually surprised I missed that. It must have like literally gone between the heli blades or something. But I didn't miss that one. And a good three kills there too. Lovely. making my way towards the priority area and I'm just taking some fire. Pretty sure it's from in the sandba uh, sandbag bunker there, judging by the sound. Not totally sure, but as best I can tell. Grenade totally didn't get him. I can't see him in the third person either. Got a few friendlies near us. I'm not sure if the enemy's still there or not. But there's a friendly walking up to it, so I'm assuming that friendly just took it out, took out the enemy. The last bit of rolling, side rolling I did there before going into the building, I would have expected the enemy to see me if he's still in the sandbag bunker there. Just having a quick look to make sure he is dead, and yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got to be dead, so... Continue my way towards the priority area. Pretty close to it now, we've got a few friendlies in there as well, although uh, Op4 has taken over control of the area right now. 
I can hear a car driving around, so I'm going to have a look for it. A little bit risky to go out in the open like this. As you can see, he got shot immediately as soon as I fired the rocket. But yeah, sometimes you've got to go out into the open a bit to take out the vehicles with the rocket. So you've got to be careful you don't like blow yourself up by shooting a building that's right next to you or something. Something I've done quite a few times. Anyway, waiting for the revive at the moment. Yeah, some enemies near my body. I think he's just been taken out there. Got a few friendlies near me. And yeah, there's a friendly come to revive me there. Thank you. Go inside the building to heal myself. Hopefully out of the way of harm, but uh, apparently not. Oh shit. Decided to wait for the revive again. We got quite a lot of friendlies near us. Although one of them has just been taken out, so it looks like we got some enemies near us too still. <laughs> Thank you. Let's, let's get out of here. Right, see if I can actually manage to heal this time. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. I really, really would appreciate a fast way to uh, exit uh, healing or reviving. Thank you. Anyway, revived again. And I've just seen another enemy almost immediately. And an unfortunate trade kill. I shouldn't have started shooting before he'd even gone through the door. That was a real shame. And once again, this guy's revived me. That's like the fourth time in a row. It's like fourth time in like five minutes or less. Thanks again. And hopefully I won't die so quickly this time. Also, maybe I'll, now I'll have a chance to heal myself. Although I'm going to check his gear first. See, I've uh, upgraded my body armor again. Running around near the priority area, and I've just seen this uh, other enemy who has not noticed me, so I'm going to chase him for sure. Oh, I leveled up to 88. Yeah, he's Op 4, and Op 4 do have uh, control of AA right now, so. Definitely worth chasing him there. Just heard a little bit of gunfire down there, so I just threw a grenade at where I heard the gunfire. No joy, though. Yeah, I guess that was the guy I could hear shooting. That's a bit of luck. Definitely good to have a bit of luck after being killed about five times in a row now. We do not have control of the AO again yet, and now even uh, uh, Independent have taken control of the AO, and they've got quite a lot of points now as well. It's worth putting a few shots on the heli like that. Don't usually kill the heli or kill people inside the heli with the underbarrel 50. It's possible, but it was a little bit far. Still, if I can put a bit of damage in the heli, I'll get points for that. I'm taking quite a lot of risk just running straight towards the priority area like this, but Blue 4 really needs to get back control. We, although we took an early lead, we've not actually taken any extra points for quite a while now, and the other two teams are definitely catching up. take this enemy vehicle into the priority area. Just got to watch out for RPGs, but at the same time I've also got to watch out for grenades. If there's people in the buildings nearby, which is very, very likely, they're probably going to throw grenades at me. Probably not going to get RPG'd. I would have already been RPG'd if there was anyone near me with an RPG, I think. There seems to be a little bit of a lack of uh, people using RPGs this round. It seems that there's not too many people other than myself. I was the only pe person from our team in the priority area there, but it's just moved away from me, so I've now got to move the car to get back into it. So open round here. I'm thinking I'm going to try and take Tower 3. Of course, there's got to be enemy inside there, but let's see what I can do. Fire the smoke before stopping. I want to like fire a smoke, turn around, and then stop in the smoke. 
Once again, just praying that I don't get RPG'd. This is a prime target for an RPG. And uh, judging by the fact I've not RPG, not been RPG'd yet, I'm hoping that no RPGs are going to come my way. Just change to uh, the passenger seat while I wait for grenades. Change to the passenger seat to make sure that I get out on the right side of the car when I do eventually get out. But like I say, I'm just waiting to see if any grenades come my way at the moment. Seems clear though. Guess no one's particularly close that's got grenades, so let's go and see if I can clear Tower 3. The parachute did actually low, uh, land below me then, but I missed it when I was playing. I only just noticed it now while I'm watching it in the replay. Nice grenade. Yeah, that was a bit lucky once again. I can hear some gunfire, but right now I'm thinking it's possibly someone coming up from below me, so I've tried to throw a grenade down the stairs, but realised uh, I'm out of grenades and we've got smokes left, so. But then realised the sound's actually coming from above. Uh, unfortunate Op 4 guy didn't notice his friendly had been killed below him there, lacking a bit of situational awareness, and uh, allowed me to kill him quite easily. Although I almost immediately afterwards get caught out by a lack of uh, situational awareness myself, and once again extremely lucky to get away with that. But did actually get taken out not too long after that and uh, making my way back into the area again now. I think three got out, I got two, and someone else got the other one. Bit unlucky for those guys there. Nice effort by the pilot to land just outside the AO, but it's just so risky. Just covering these guys while they loot the bodies a second. I've just noticed that we do actually have a dead friendly there. Just checking he's getting revived, and yeah, it looks like that guy's going for the revive, so put a bit of smoke down to give him a little bit of cover. There's got to be some enemies looking this way, as we're pretty much in the priority area. Not quite, but just on the edge of it, I think. Here, gunshot. I'm just trying to figure out where that's coming from. Sounds like it's over here somewhere. See if there's anyone else. Not going to reload just yet. Let's change the underbarrel. That's the good thing about the Type 115 and the underbarrel, you can change between the two, so it's like an extra 10 shots or so before we have to reload. Well, I've just noticed an enemy vehicle. Great time in there. I can hear another vehicle as well, see if we can get that too. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's the same with the Type 115, you know, you, you use your 30 round mag, then you can switch to the underbarrel, and then that's giving you basically 40 rounds before you have to reload. Then if you've got like a pistol as well, you've got you know, maybe another 10 rounds, so you can actually fire off 50 rounds between the three guns before you have to reload. That's probably the best way to do it. Unfortunately, I have a habit of just instantly reloading all the time from playing like uh, Battlefield and stuff like that back in the day. But with armor, you've got to be way more tactical with your reloads. But yeah, that's what you got to do, like, don't reload unless you're sure it's safe to do so. But yeah, I'm actually uh, taking some gear off this guy here. If you hover your mouse pointer over the different uh, armor, such as the body armor and the helmet, you can see what level it is, and that's basically how much protection it offers, and you can compare it to the levels of your own armor. Once again, putting a couple of uh, shots in that heli, so once it does eventually go down, I get some points for it. But yeah, as I said, you hover the mouse pointer over uh, enemy's gear as you're going through it, and it'll tell you what the level of protection it offers, and then you can see if it offers more protection than your own gear. You can't actually take everything off dead bodies, like you won't be able to take a ghillie suit off a dead body, for example. But you can still take some things. See, uh, I can see that my current body armor is level 2, and the one on this uh, dead body is level 3, so that's uh, better armor than the one I was currently using, so let's switch to that. I've got another armor upgrade now. Now I've ditched the uh, RPG, it's worth taking some body armor. It will increase the rate, it will increase my weight, obviously, but while I'm not carrying around an RPG, I've got, uh, I can definitely carry a bit more extra weight again.
without getting fatigued so quickly. Anyway, just clearing these buildings, making sure there's uh, no enemies around, but also I'm trying to get back into the priority area. Again, taking a few shots at the heli. If I had an RPG, I would have chased it, but uh, I'm thinking, uh, screw it, let's just go back into the priority area. Maybe I can look back in that direction and get them as they try to move in towards the priority area after me, because that's where they'll be going. But there you see, took the shots and didn't reload straight away. Got to make sure there's no one else in this building first before I reload. Remembered not to just instantly reload that time. <laughs> and it seems like a safe time to reload now, so now I've reloaded. Quickly check this guy's gear too. Uh, it doesn't look like he's got anything particularly useful for me though. And uh, yeah, I did just hear another shot. Let's see if I can figure out where, that's, where that noise came from. While also going back towards the priority area. Oh, he wasn't expecting that. Ah, oh, medkits. That's good. And some smoke. Lovely. Oh, and normal grenades too. I need those. That was a shame. Got shot as soon as I poked my head out the window there. Most unfortunate. Nope, still doing pretty well on the scoreboard. Although in terms of the team scores, the other two teams have totally caught up with Blue 4 and we've not got any extra points for quite a while now, unfortunately. Anyway, respawn now and drive back into the uh, AO. And I've just spotted that enemy heli that's been flying past our base and following everyone into the AO from our base the whole round. As it's in my view, I'm going to try and uh, shoot it with the underbarrel 50, see if I can do any damage. Looks like a circling background towards this direction. Park up here, use this building for a bit of cover so it can't see me so easily and try and shoot it. Nice. <laughs> Although someone has just taken it out for me. Anyway, back into the AO finally. Now the priority area is quite far away from our side of the AO. So I'm going to drive straight up to it. Um, but of course, to avoid incoming fire and RPGs, you've got to keep the speed up and keep moving around. Try not to drive in a straight line. And decided to stop just outside the priority area, area rather than go straight into it. I'm going to attempt to get close towards those friendlies over there. And another heli coming into AO. You can see there's a lot of helis landing, so I guess there's not too many people using the RPG still. Oh, and that worked out good. I thought some of those people might have been able to run away from that, but I think it got them all. So let's continue, try and get a bit closer to these other friendlies, and back into the priority area. Try and get Blue Force some points again. These other two guys are just outside the priority area now, so it's only me that's in there from our team again at the moment. But Op4 have actually been doing pretty well. They've been getting themselves back into contention with Blue4. Just having a look for enemies, and yeah, I definitely heard one there quite near to that guy that just got killed actually, so that must be someone from the third team. Just killed that guy because it's not uh, I'm pretty sure it's not someone from our team. I'm trying to spot this guy that just fired with a suppressed gun. Very difficult to tell exactly where they are from the suppressed gun, but I believe he's in that building I'm looking at there. Could be the second one there though. I've got to expose myself to shoot it, but totally worth it. As you can see, absolutely worth it. So it's just me and some up for in the priority area right now. I'm going to try and stay in the priority area, but I've really got to look out for these up for. It's so dodgy to be running around in in the priority like my, uh, by myself like this. Trying to stay on the edge of it as well, not go too, uh, too far into the middle just yet. It's 
to do a listen out for these shots. And I've heard this guy with the suppressed gun again, so I'll see if I can find him. I think I've got a slightly better idea of where he is now. I think he's in this building rather than the next one, judging by the sound. Close the doors uh, before I loot him, just in case uh, there's anyone looking through the doors from outside. That gives me a bit of extra protection there. And yeah, it looks like he's got a body armor upgrade for me as well. I'll be taking that, thank you. Helmet's about the same, so I'll keep my helmet. Just move away from that spot as I just fired a seriously loud gun there. Go and hide in a different building and see if anyone walks up to the building I just fired from to investigate. And not so much on the edge of the priority area anymore either. I'm a little bit closer towards the middle now, so yeah, I'm going to have to be careful here. Still the only one from our team in the priority area as well. Just going all by sound at the moment, can't see anything, so I'm just listening out, see if I can hear them shoot. I guess the enemy doesn't have too much contact at the moment, so I can't hear that much gunfire. Ah, uh, damn it. Did the bad habit of automatically reloading without thinking about it, and paid the price instantly. Still doing alright on the scoreboard, but our team still has been stuck on 56 points for a while now, and Op4 have now caught up as I'm driving back into the EO here. And friendly heli flying past us. And as you can see, the enemy heli once again following people in from our spawn. Didn't shoot, I think the reason it did not shoot our cars, because the helicopter is a better target for us, uh, for it. And as soon as it would have fired, uh, it would have given its position, would have given away the fact it was following that other heli to our friendly heli there, and they may have uh, deviated from their course. So I think he was just waiting for the perfect time to fire and decided to shoot the heli instead. Because if they can take the heli out and the heli goes down, they instantly kill everyone. Whereas with the car, they need a direct hit on the individual people to kill the car, unless they can make the car blow up. But it takes a few shots to do that from the links usually. Now I've actually managed to get into the priority area and I've uh, followed it as it moved around a bit. Just heard this car come in, so let's try and RPG it. And accidentally blew up the whole petrol station. <laughs> Oops. Rest in peace, guys. That was a glorious death. Yeah, I can hear a bit, of, uh, a bit of contact out here, so I'm having a look, see if I can see what I can see. And I just heard someone firing from up in this building over here, so if I can get him. Lovely. Yeah, he was not looking at me. I guess he was looking in the central tower there. Right, let's try and heal this friendly here. I'm going to try and fire a smoke from the hunter. Uh, damn it. But it looks like someone was covering it. Got blasted as soon as I tried to get in. Although it looked like someone got out the back there. I'm pretty sure I was about to get in it though. I can't get in it if there's an enemy already in it, so not sure what happened there. Anyway, back into the priority area. Got some enemies trying to land just outside it, so let's try and take them out. Once again, the underbarrel 50 doing its magic. The underbarrel 50 makes that Type 115 such a good gun. I'm not exactly sure where that enemy went. I want to stay in the priority area rather than leave it to chase him though. 
try and stay with these friendlies as much as possible as well. Although, I guess another enemy heli. And unfortunately, did not hit it with one rocket. I think that's because I hit it from underneath. Kind of better off hitting it directly in the front or to the side, I think, to try and take it out with one rocket. Ah, it's fucking right near me somewhere. But unfortunately, got taken out by that guy running around with the ASP again. So, driving back into the AO here. There's these guys doing the redneck corny, following people back from their spawn. The way to deal with these guys is to try and get right underneath them. They can't shoot directly underneath. Also, turn from side to side a lot. They kind of need you to go in a straight line to make it easy for them. Back into the AO. I've got into the AO, I've got into the priority area. I've taken, I've taken a little bit of damage from jumping from the uh, first floor of a building over there. And luckily for me, I turned around just in time to see that door open in there with an enemy behind it. Threw a grenade in case there's a second enemy. Did not get a second kill though, so I guess that was it. I'm going to revive this guy. This guy actually revived me shitloads of times this round already, so I've got to, definitely got to try and revive him. I'm going to throw some smokes down for visual cover. Off to my right there, there's a big hill where you do get quite a lot of like snipers and DMRs and stuff, so I've got to watch out for that. Enemy heli over there did totally crash though instead of land, so don't have to worry about that. But did eventually get the guy back up and still running around after the priority area. The blue four have actually got themselves massively in the lead once again. I've just seen this dead body. I've just gone to loot it. And, uh... Ah, fucking shit. Unfortunately, totally didn't check the corner. Dude is right in the corner. He was obviously uh, looking away as well. I totally could have killed him if I was paying attention there. But anyway, once again driving back into the area of operations. I've noticed the dead friendly here, so I'm going to try and revive him. And unfortunately, the other friendly tried to get out of the car a bit too quick there and ended up running him over. Looks like, looks like he's just knocked out though and not actually dead. Just went for the revive, but we got some gunfire coming in. So the other guy's staying there and going for the revive. Now this is my opportunity to shoot the enemy while he's shooting at the other friendly. I've got to get him as quickly as possible, but obviously he's a little bit difficult to spot because he's not that close. Definitely got to try and do it as soon as I can to save the other friendly. Let's have a look at that again. Not a bad shot, actually. Kind of difficult to spot, but yeah, just about got it. Just about managed to spot him, luckily. And the other friendly didn't get killed, so yeah, that's a bonus. Did manage to shoot the gibby guy in time there. Did get taken out shortly after that and driving back in once again. See, that's persistence, man. It's like that's what gets you the points. You've got to persist even when it starts to go horribly wrong. You've just got to keep trying. It's the way, it's the only way to get maximum points. Anyway, as it's quite close to the end and it's really close, both for taking the lead, so I've driven straight into the priority area, going for maximum risk to try and get us these points. And uh, actually, totally ended up spooning the shot there, but luckily, someone else killed the enemy. But that friendly's uh, pretty much dead because of my dodgy driving straight into the priority area there, so I'm going to attempt to revive him. Uh, we do actually definitely need as many people on their feet as possible to get the win here. It's so close. It keeps going between blue four and up four as to who's got control of their uh, AO. If we had just a couple more people in, this would help, so I'm going to try and revive this guy right in the priority area so he'll count as two people. There's other friendlies near us, although rather than covering me, they've all gone and hidden a building. I prefer it if they give me a bit of cover. But uh, unfortunately I got taken out. Still it was worth taking the risk, but it looks like we've lost there. Looks like we've lost the round, unfortunately. So close at the end there. Blue Vault totally should have won though. We had such a good early lead. That's a real shame. Fucking big game. <sighs> but still very good round, very close. Lots of fun. Yeah, and I've got just over sixty thousand dollars. More than sixty thousand XP and that's um, no double XP, and I was not on the winning team, so no winning bonus either. 
That's probably the highest score I've ever got without being on the winning team, quite possibly. I'm not totally sure about that, but quite possibly. And uh, also managed to get 64 kills, which, yeah, definitely happy with that. Definitely quite a lot of kills to get using just Type 115 and Moors. Although I did actually get killed quite a lot, but still, I was fighting for the priority area quite a lot, so yeah, I'm not too bothered about that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Take it easy.